everyone. How is everyone today? It's Mel from Melamory Nursery and I've brought on Piper by Andrea Arcello and she is the um, she is the doll that was created for the real Piper from Annie Benani from Annie Benani's nursery. Can I speak, folks? I don't know. Sometimes I wonder. Oh, and I forgot to take this off. This bracelet, folks, was beautifully made for me by Julie over at the Country Cottage. I will leave her link in the description box below. Jewel, if you're watching, I always wear this. I do. Um, usually I take it off before I film, but I'd forgotten to do that. Um, I always keep it in a bag near me, and that was the card she sent it with. Um, it's supposed to have healing properties, and she gave that to me in a Christmas exchange we did. And uh, I have to get a hold of you, Julie. My goodness. I keep forgetting. I'm so sorry, folks. I have been so busy. My daughter's move is coming up. And my goodness, I'm actually even filming this the day before. So I'm filming this on a Wednesday because tomorrow being Thursday uh, and Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to be swamped. So if you see me all in the same sweater, it's because I'm going to try to film as much as I can in the time that I have. And um, I just wanted to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for um, commenting on my videos lately because I've just been hearting them, folks. I've read them all and I've like if, if they had direct questions, of course, I answered them, but I've just been hearting them, which is the laziest thing to do in the world. And I apologize profusely. I really, truly do. Um, but it, it, it's just life right now. It's just life for me. Um, but as I was saying about this little girl here, uh, she was created by Andrea Arcello um, as a sculpt to, um, to go off of the picture of Piper. Yep, that's Annie's daughter over at Annie Ben Annie's nursery. Uh, of course, um, this little one has blonde hair. She doesn't look very young with this hair. Um, and I forget actually the nursery at the moment. I didn't bring my book over and she's got like very, uh, yellow, brown, hazel eyes and quite long eyelashes. Um, but she's quite poseable. She's quite movable. She's 22 inches long and I dressed her quite some time ago, um, in this outfit, which is, um, sort of a neutral outfit which is why I put on these flower this flower bib to give her a pop of pink and um, there's stars on this jacket here there's stars on her pants and her little uh, booties here which I think are super cute yeah so she's got very interesting uh, features one of her arms comes over like this and she just sort of has this really interesting look about her. Let me just see if I can't get her a little closer to you all so you can see this little one. There she is. Now Annie's daughter, Piper, is a highly functioning autistic uh, to the point where, where folks, you know, you wouldn't even know it. I mean, that that's the thing with autism, you know, like children with autism are so like there's such a scale of autism. So, you know, um, and I, I watched quite a few of, um, the early channels of Annie, um, when, and, and Piper's sort of highlighted in all of them. But let me get down to business. Today's themes are, um, Flowers or Monsters by Ivana having you on for Theme Thursday. And uh, I believe it's knits or best, like best kind of wear, best knit wear. I believe I could be wrong. And if I am, uh, Stephanie and Jackie, I really am sorry. 
Um, and that's, of course, by Stephanie and Jackie over at In Love With Reborns 2011. So I will tag both of those channels in the description box below. Um, yeah, folks, I busy is not even a word anymore in my dictionary. Um, most of you know that my daughter is moving. And, um, of course, you know, with everything else that's going on, uh, it's not just a simple move either, folks. It's, it's you know, um, it would be like if you lived in the States, it would be moving from one state to the next, essentially, because there's a ferry involved and, you know, um, all sorts of, you know, complicated things <laughs> have to be done uh, in advance. So, um that's sort of where I've been. Oh, look, she even has pink socks on. Pink little socks on. I kept her name as Piper. And I noticed on eBay right now, there's quite a few of the Piper kits available. Um, and they're, they're really, you know, uh, reasonable. And um, she is a chunky little baby. I would say she's about... She's got the look of a three month for sure. And I don't often bring her out. She sort of sits in a, um, I've got uh, photography chairs or padded chairs. That's where she sort of sits. So um, yeah, what are these? Oh, these are mini mouse sockies. And the circles on the socks actually match the onesie she's wearing. Let's remove the bib and see how that looks. Just like that. It's amazing, you know, how cute that looks just like that. You know, she's full limbed, full legs. She's actually quite cute. Um, you know, it's her, uh, she's very distinctive with this hair. That's for sure. So I hope everybody's been doing good. Yeah. More than good. And I do appreciate everybody stopping in and taking the time out of your day. I really do. Um, I've had, I've had a number of uh, appointments, folks. And I will get into that kind of in the upcoming days. And I will also get into a lot of other things, a lot of other topics upcoming. Um, I'm sort of trying to find the right time to do those topics. Um, and I haven't really found the right time to incorporate them. Um, and there's a lot of topics that are going around too, like a lot of tags and whatnot. I, I will be taking this off of her now. Her hair is going to be all kind of like wild. Look at this hair, all kind of wild hair. <laughs> Look at that, wild hair. Uh, her hair is sort of like two tones. It's got a little fringe of brown at the front and it's like this almost white blonde. Um, yeah. So I will show you what I'm going to put on her today and it will incorporate flowers and uh, knitwear. Um, so I have this dress here. It's purple and it's got flowers on. I believe that's a onesie. Yeah, there's a little onesie, a flowered onesie. And then this is a corded... Um, romper style dress with flowers in burgundies and blues with the green stems all the way around it oh no nothing on the back except the buttons and the top button i've undone already and this is by baby boots and oh gosh here i go again with the size it says 24 inches or up to 13 pounds, three months. So there you go. Um, so she's, yeah, she's pretty chunky. She's pretty stuffed. And, um, and then I'm going to put on, 
this diaper on her if she needs a diaper change, which is just a cloth diaper. Um, it's called a Dappy diaper cover. And this knit, this is vintage knit um, sweater. There's no buttons on it. It just goes over the top like that. And these clothes can fall under, again, new dolls, new doll clothes by J over at J Dolls UK. And then I've got these. Um, these are more of a beige color because the, the onesie is, is beige. The onesie is beige. So these have the little frilly bottoms on them and the tights. And then I've just got these little booties here because she does, the Piper Sculpt does have small feet for her size. So the white sweater and the white booties will offset each other. So that's what I'm going to dress this little girl in and I'll just get it off the hanger now. So yeah, I mean a lot of things have been going on. Um, mainly trying to organize uh, my daughter's stuff like I like I'd mentioned in previous videos she found a really nice place but that place is very small so we've been deciding what to do with some of her items and I should say before I I get into all of that these these buttons actually go all the way down all the way down so she would have them like button up completely if I didn't want to pull it up over her and I didn't bring you a little lovey toy or anything, did I? No, I didn't. Not today, but she does have a flower um, receiving blanket here she's laying on. Let's get this onesie off of you, little girl. So yeah, uh, like trying to sort stuff out, um, what to take, what not to take. Um, how to fit stuff in a vehicle, you know, all of that fun stuff. So, yeah, it's been, it's been work. It's been work, folks, but um, my daughter has exactly two days left of her job, and she is pretty much walking on sunshine. She's excited, you know. You know how it is when you're young and you want to go off and start something new in a place and the new job and a new experience and a new environment and... So yeah, now let's check this diaper. Oh, it's pretty good. Now this diaper is, I guess, size three. Because it says one, two, three. So as you can see, she's got a really cute little construction here. Let's see if I can't. I'm wondering if her head is too high for you all. Let's get you on this flatter pillow. That's a little better, isn't it? Yeah. There she is, folks. So as you can see, her feet are all curled up. You know, she's been painted really well. She's got very smooth varnish. It almost feels like quite skin-like. You know, like the vinyl is very, um, it's very soft compared to a lot of vinyls that I've experienced before. And I don't, I think she's the only Andrea Arcello doll I own. So, yeah, she does have a very unique face. Very unique face. So, little girl, let's get you started in your little onesie. And I think this is going to fit her really well. I was wondering who was going to wear this. Um outfit. I'd spotted this outfit some time ago um, in another bag sale I'd done at Value Village. And normally what happens is I'll donate stuff and get a 20% off and then I'll fill a bag so I get a discount off the $6.99 bag of 20%. So um, that's how I shop for clothes on the most part. Um, I I, I will often like some they've just recently made it now where their dresses are separate from their clothing 
but before they didn't. And I think this is just fitting her. So that's a really good choice of clothing I picked for her. But yeah, now they, they are keeping certain things separate, just like the new clothes they keep separate now, whereas before they didn't. And um, sometimes it depends. So you never quite know. And we're going to flip you over, little girl. I'm going to flip you over. As you can see, she, her movements are really good. And she's kicking up this blanket, aren't you? My goodness. Sorry, I had to pull her off for a second there, folks. Had to pull her off. Oh, my goodness. That's quite a big tag she's got in the back there. My goodness. <laughs> Here's your little head. There it is. So this this doll, of course, I haven't I haven't posted in some time. You know, this sleeve of my sweater keeps rolling up. But um yeah, so I will be away for the weekend. So if I don't record films in advance, then I won't have any videos to go up. So if you don't see a video from me on a day, folks, it's just because I'm helping my daughter move. And um, the move will be in parts one and two. Oh, look at you, little girl. Look at you. Now, we've got to get your dress on and flip you over again, don't we? Oh, my goodness. Some days I can do this well, and some days I just can't, depending on my body. And this day, on this day, I'm having an off-body day, so, huh, you know, to say the least. Um, oh, we needed to put tights on you. We did. We needed to cover up these little chunky legs. So we're going to have to, but if we do that, then we won't see your frilly bottoms. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You do have cute legs, but we were going to put on tights, weren't we? So let's put on the tights. I always try to start with the long leg first. So, yeah, I feel very um, unsettled by the fact that I haven't been responding to you guys. Um, with messages and I, you know, and I've been trying to balance everything out. Um, so I've been doing a half ditched effort, you know what I'm saying? Which isn't really my, my style. I don't like to do half ditched anything, but, um, I know some people don't, don't have a problem with me not responding, but it's my personality to attempt and um, to to at least put out the effort. And, you know, I, I just find days are just rushing by me like a speeding train almost. And I have no way of controlling it. None at all. None at all. Let's look at these little freely bottoms. These little bits coming off of them. Piper. I don't like little bits coming off of them. So, I got in the mail today a new body for my teddy from the um, artist, Lisa. Um, I had messaged her and said that his body, when I'd opened him up, he he had an issue on on his um, the leg and and showed her a picture of it and she said oh she had forgotten all about the zip tie issue and sent me a brand new body and I want to thank you Lisa for that I did receive it and I have messaged you so. Um, that was, you know, great customer service, I think, for her to do that, send me a, a new body, you know, for him. So Teddy's going to get a new, brand new body. 
and I'll keep him the same size, but that just means I've got to reweight him, you know, <clears throat> completely. So he might have some different dimensions to him when I'm done doing that. Oh, wow. She looks good in purple. Yeah, she does. Brings color to her. And back we flip you over again. Now, I don't know why this collar doesn't want to stay down. It should. And folks, my back is just a humming today. So I don't know how long this video will be. Okay, little girl. Let's get you up like that. Yeah, I have some days that are better days than other days. And this day, well, I'm feeling this day. That's for sure, but that's okay. This too shall pass. I use that quote all the time, and I use it is what it is. Let me know in the commentary box what your favorite quote is. But those are mine, and they're fairly common. I mean, I have other quotes, too, that I use. Lord, please help me. <laughs> That's the third one. Um, but I know, I know that I'm being helped as much as possible. And, you know, uh, the Lord likes us to help ourselves, too. So that's part and parcel. Oh, she looks so cute in that, doesn't she? Now we'll put on these little cute little shoes. I think, yeah, I went to put them on April. And they just didn't go with her outfit yesterday. And I was going to try to do a little monster outfit on a boy. And I thought I had one. And you know what, folks, with my back and bending into the boys' drawers, because the boys' drawers are low, and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So these ones fit her better anyway. So then I spotted this beautiful dress, and I looked up, and I saw this little girl, and I was like, well... That settles it. And, of course, you know, she she sits up in her chair, but she is wrapped. Do you know what I mean? So um, she's wrapped up in this flower. And I thought, well, there you go. So I can identify all my dolls, basically, by how they're wrapped. So eventually, like, if, if and when I complete the nursery, you know... Um, I will take their blankets off of them and display them. And then, you know, it'll just be a matter of maintenance. But especially in the winter when I have the heat on, I, I, I just don't like. Um, and I have popcorn ceilings. So there's a there's a couple of reasons why. Oh, sorry, folks. There's a couple of reasons why I choose to cover up my dolls. But maintenance is definitely one of them because dust and whatnot, especially with the open eye dolls, right? Then you've got to clean them. And like I was doing that because I was looking at her eyelashes. And but there she is with her little slippers on. And I have this beautiful hair bow for her too. Look how beautiful that's going to play off the flowers. But I want to get this sweater on her. And I do want this sweater to kind of come down a little bit to show off sort of the arms of the um, the onesie. So come here, darling. Let's see if we can do this. So I have been trying to watch videos a lot and, you know, uh, in the morning, early morning, um, generally, I, I try to put in about an hour and a half after I do some work. Um, and I don't always comment, folks, because it depends on where I'm watching them. Um, or, you know, like, uh, whether I've been writing hard all night or whatnot. But trust me, you know, I'm definitely there um, spending time. So, now this little girl needs to have some treatment in this hair. And I do have a pick, but where did I put it? I think I'm just going to just kind of move this into her hair a little bit. Maybe I should move the camera a little bit up. Get her to face you while I do this. There she is. 
Now you see this covers up most of her flowers. This is why I wanted to kind of fold her sleeves a little bit down so that she has her own little look about her because she does. Now she's got this little cowlick off to the side here. I noticed that right off the, the bat when I would opened her. Now, where is your pip, little girl? She's got wildly curly hair. And I try not to yank too hard. And it's not, it's not really tangled. It's just because of her curls. So I'm just lifting them up because she's been sitting against her sheepskin chair wrapped up over top of this uh, blanket. So, but yeah, curly hair is a lot of maintenance. That's for sure in a doll. And, uh, you know, I understand completely why people like straight hair on a doll and not curly hair, or that they just use their finger on certain curly hair, because, you know, see this cowlick she's got here? I might be doing something with that. I don't know. I don't know. It's all about how it was rooted. And let's see if we can't bring some of this down a little bit. Let's sit you over here for a second, little girl. Get the camera up. But she does sit up. Look at that, folks. I mean, I haven't done anything with her. I haven't I haven't re reweighted her or nothing. So, you know, she she can sit up. She has a style definitely all on her own. <laughs> and this huge mop of hair, literally. Look at this hair. Like, she has this huge mop of curly hair. And, you know, I might be thinning it out. I don't, I don't know what I'll do with this hair. You know? Personally, I think she would have looked better with dark hair, but that's just me. Now, let's see if we can't get that in there proper. Oh, see, that makes a huge difference for her. And we're going to fold this in and fold this in. So we've got the flowers showing, push it under her collar. And there she is. Look at that. Look at Piper, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Why don't we lay her down, even though I've just done her hair. and Maybe we can prop her up somewhat. Kind of get the whole view happening. She is a beautiful doll, you know. All dolls are beautiful, honestly. All dolls deserve to be treated beautifully and loved beautifully, no matter what. Um, just like anything. Just like anything. You know, when you treat something well, they last forever. And love can be poured into just about anything, I feel. You know, truly. Um... Yeah, so there she is, everybody. I want to thank you all. And as I said, if I miss a day, and I'll try very hard not to, I'll try to pre-record. Um, but if I miss a day, please know that I'm doing okay. I'm just helping my daughter with the move and maybe if run out of time. But in the meantime, I want to thank all of you again, especially Jackie and Stephanie for... Um, Dressed up Thursday, 
and which has a hashtag before it um, from In Love with Reborns 2011 and Yvonne at having you on for Theme Thursday. And this is Little Piper from Andrea Arcello. And I want to thank Annie from Annie Banani's Nursery for her Little Piper and Piper herself and for all of you for your continued love and support. Remember, we are perfectly imperfect, everybody. You are loved, wanted, and needed far, far more than you will ever know. And I will see you all next time. Say goodbye, Piper. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. <laughs> Bye for now, everyone.